Hi, today I am going to discuss about the magnetic induction at a point along the equatorial line of a bar magnet. Let us examine a bar magnet. This is a bar magnet. This is south pole and north pole. If you draw a perpendicular line along from its midpoint, this line is called equatorial line. Now we have to consider a point P on this line. That means point P means we have to consider a positive or a north pole here. So we have to find the magnetic induction at this particular point due to this magnet. So the north pole acts on P like this and south pole acts on this P point like this. The length of the magnet is 2L and the distance from the origin midpoint to the point is small d. If we consider a triangle like this and this will be hypotenuse. Hypotenuse means d square plus L square root over this side will be. Now we have to find this PC resultant because the north pole acts like this. That means if I extend this vector this gives Bn the magnetic induction due to north pole and if I consider this line up to here this gives Bs. Bs means magnetic induction due to south pole acting on P. Now I have to find this resultant of Bn and Bs. Okay. Uh, let us uh, take the fundamentals of uh, this magnetism. According to inverse square law, F is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into m1 m2 by r square. The force that means m1 m2 represents the pole strength of the magnet. Here, the force means the force of attraction or force of repulsion between two poles is defined as like this. The magnetic induction Bn due to north pole is, if I develop a equation, an equation for magnetic induction that is Bn is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into m by d square plus l square. This will be d square means that means root of d square plus l square whole square. This gives d square plus l square because the difference between these two equations are if I remove one pole strength and divide this F, that means F by M, that means the force experienced by the pole is given, is nothing but the magnetic induction here. Now we have to draw the two lines PA and PC in the direction of NP and NS here. So first of all, we have to find what is NP and what is NS. NP means this side, this hypotenuse side of this particular triangle OPN and NS means represents the length of the magnet which is 2L. These two things are parallel to these things. This means PA is parallel to NP. This is NP and PA both are parallel. So I have to find the ratio of these two things. Another thing is PC. This is PC. This resultant. This is horizontal thing. This is parallel to this NS. So we can make it as ratio. So we have to find PC. For that we have to take PC by. So find induction resultant induction B for that take the ratio of uh, PC divided by NS this PC and NS is equal to another thing is PA by NP. Now I have to find PC. 
PC is equal to PA by NP into NS that is equal to NA, PA means this is PA means BN by NP means NP means root of D square plus L square root of D square plus L square into NS means the length of the bar magnet that is 2L then PC here PC means B that means B is equal to BN means this from equation 1 u naught by 4 pi into m by t square plus l square d square plus l square into 1 by d square plus l square root this value into 2l then b is equal to mu naught into 2lm which are in the numerator divided by 4 pi into d square plus l square this is whole power 1 into d square plus l square l square whole power half root of d square plus l square now we can combine it b is equal to mu naught into 2 l m divided by 4 pi into d square plus l square whole power 1 plus half then b is equal to mu naught into 2 l m by 4 pi into d square plus l square whole power 3 by 2 but we know Two L M is equal to M. Here L means length. Length means half length of the magnet. Two L means the total length of the magnet. M means pole strength of the magnet. Then this capital M indicates the moment or torque of the bar magnet. Then this equation becomes B is equal to mu naught into capital M by 4 pi into d square plus L square whole power 3 by 2. This is the, the magnetic induction of a point P along the equatorial line. Here mu naught means the permi uh, permeability of the free space. M means moment or torque 4 pi 4 into 3.14. D means distance from origin of the magnet to the point. L means length of the one side half length of the magnet. If if the D is very much greater than L or L is very much less than D then this becomes L becomes 0 then B is equal to mu naught by mu naught into M by 4 pi into D square power of 3 by 2 that will be D power Q. So, this will be the final equation. Okay. If you want it, so you can take a, a screenshot of this question. Okay. This is very, very easy question. We have to consider a bar magnet of length 2L and identify the poles. This is south pole and north pole and consider a point P along the equatorial line and this will be 0 
from 0 to P, the distance will be D. And uh, draw lines from P to N and uh, P to S. And P to N will be hypotenuse of this particular triangle. That is D square plus L square. Now we have to find the magnetic induction of north pole and magnetic induction of the south pole's resultant which is PC we have to find. For that I have taken this inverse square law equation. First of course there is no need of this equation but for your understanding purpose I wrote this equation here. You can take equation from here. The magnetic induction is Bn, this will be, this will be Bs, Bn will be mu naught by 4 pi into m by d square plus l square. Of course, this also root of d square plus l square, you can consider this triangle also. Okay. Now, I have to draw P and PC. This is P and PC. These are imaginary lines basing upon NP and NS, this will be NP, we extend this line, this is PA and parallel to NS, this will be PC. Now I have to find the ratio of uh, uh, PC by NS, so PC by NS is equal to PA by NP. For that we know PA means BN, we know this is BN and uh, NP means this NP is root of d square plus L square into NS means length of the magnet that is 2L or to substitute here here this base value is d square plus L square whole power 1 this and this will be d square plus L square whole power half root means we have to add this 1 and half this will be 3 by 2 now we have to take this 2LM as M. That means length of the magnet into pole strength gives its moment or torque of the bar magnet. Then if the D value is very much greater than the length of the magnet. That means if the length of the magnet is negligible. That means just like a paper. If you consider the SN is in like a paper. That means the thickness is very very less then L becomes 0 then this will be we have to take this is um, D square whole power 3 by 2 then this this will be cancelled then we get D cube that's why I put D cube so this is very important in your annual examination okay Prepare well. Thank you.